How did I do that? Next. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. My name is Ron of VA3FUC. So we're going to go back to the Alliance HD1. As you know, in the beginning, I showed you how to, I showed you that I have my logo on my radio. How did I do that? And how do you do more stuff with your radio? Well, I'm going to show you all the tricks I've learned with my radio. And, you know, I'm going to uh, show you everything I know. Hopefully, my last video about using the, um, Building a Pi Star was interesting. I have another video coming up soon, more about the Pi Star, but not in the same genre. But I will explain it a little bit because I think you guys are going to like that video. So if you're liking already what you've seen and you haven't hit the subscribe, please hit the subscribe button, ring the bell for notification. But let's get into this and get this going for you. Okay, so we do the usual shrink me and go into the software. So right here is the software, as you know, for the HD one. If you're not familiar with this, um, with using the uh, software, look back at our first video, programming a code plug with this, because the software kind of has a neat little feature. Under function, under power on logo, you can change that logo. See how it says Alliance? Well, I don't like the Alliance logo. I think it's dull. So I'm going to say open. Now, I've already made a picture. The quality you want to set this for is three. You know, I'll pull that up for you right now. We can look together. So picture is 160 by 128. So that's what you want to set the picture for. So we're going to go and open that up right now. That's in there. Now, when I say write to the radio, it's going to write this code directly to the radio. This doesn't affect anything else on the radio. It just writes down the code plug for you. It's done. Now we're going to go look at something else. Now on my radio here, I have contact under, okay. Yeah. Under contacts, I believe it is an address book contacts. This is where it stores all your addresses, you know, like uh, the call signs, information, all that type of data. There are ways to import uh, call lists. Now on the Alliance HD website, there's a way to download all this. And we're going to go over to Alliance HD and we're going to download it. So just give me a moment here while I get everything all pulled up so we can get that loaded up for you. Okay. So there's two ways that we can get our address book codes. We can go to the Alliance HD website, or you can also use Amateur radio digital. I do recommend amateur radio digital first. Now they've done some changes to their website, which now requires you to pay uh, to use their website for $12 a month. When I was doing it, they didn't have that up and it wasn't available. Now that it's showing up, it's up to you if you want to pay for it. But what I've been using uh, just for that, just because it offers the same support is Alliance's own web website it offers a way to build your code plugs and such. So you go to resources, go to radio uh, resource center. And right here you go, digital contacts in the digital contacts. You select the radio you have. So we have the HD one country. We can select what countries we want. So say if I wanted, Let's go to Canada. Canada. Then you can only download that for that country. So I just select for the heck, for, since I have the availability, let me just refresh this page. I'm going to select all country abbreviation. Don't need it. State abbreviation. Don't need it. Call sign first name. You can also set it just for the first name call sign and full name. It's up to you which way you want to say it. So let's just say I go with uh, call sign first. I just go first name. I type in my code. Now it's different for every person. It'll say in that box right there, right but I'm hovering my mouse around. We hit download. We hit okay. 
And then we just wait. So the list is being built. Once the list is fully built, it'll pop up as a download and we can download it. Now I've already made one for my own plug. So we're going to install it and I'm going to show you how that works. So we go to import contacts. What you would be looking for is your code is where you would save those files. Now I uh, save mine under documents and I believe it is address contact. Three, I believe now you can easily look at these because these are in a regular format, uh, that a program like, uh, say, um, I use LibreOffice. These are just Excel files and you can easily open them up and view them in Excel. If you ever need to look at them, I believe it is that one is what we down what we used. Yeah. So you just hit open. Now, the nice thing about this, this loads separately. So you don't have to load it right. You can load it up right after you finish doing all your code plugs. It doesn't affect your code plugs at all. This is a separate thing altogether. Now I already have this already installed. But if I was, I would just hit read. I would just hit write contacts and it will write it over to the radio. It takes about a good three to five minutes to write over. We're going to go back to Revelus's website and uh, we'll be right there. Okay, so now we're in the website. We're going to go back to our resources and we're going to download GPS firmware. And what you would do, let me just minimize myself here just a little bit more so you guys can see what I'm looking at. Boom. HD1 firmware. Whichever way you, you have, you would select that firmware that you need. Now that we have the software closed, what we're going to do is we're going to put the radio into standby mode. And how you do that? Well, let me show you. So I have the radio on right now. I'm just going to turn it off and put it into that mode. So you turn off your radio, let power down. Holding your power, holding this button and these two down, and turning on your power will turn on the red light on here, which means it is now ready to accept the new firmware. So we're going to go back. We're going to get the firmware going and get it installed. Now, there are a few things you got to keep in mind when installing new firmware, and I'm just going to update. The, I'm just going to see if this is the new version. This is 1.64. We have 1.6, so that is a good sign. So, there it is. Open up. So. I'll open up this, and then we're going to install the software. Now, it does want to install itself. Let it install, but we're going to look at the change log so we know what's going on here. So according to the change log, the HD one is an update. It fixes uh, group problems, which I have not run into yet. Uh, issue problems that don't display contacts when choosing them from RX group membership. I've ran into that already. And it adds a 42 digitals DT D. CS tones. That is always good to have because tones always change and you got to have those tones to get in those digital repeaters. So I'm going to install the software and we'll come right back and we will flash the firmware onto the phone, onto the device so you can see how it's done. Now, what you may find is your windows might go off saying there's a threat. Uh, you can go into that. It'll tell you Mine says it is a severe threat. Get details. So. No. So you might get one of these that pops up. Threats, action needed, severe. No. I'll do that. I'll take care of that afterwards. But it's, from what I've been told, it's a false positive and that you shouldn't worry about it. But. If you do feel worried about this, then I recommend that you do this on a computer that you don't mind wiping out after you're done. So just keep that in mind that this is that that is a false positive and it does happen. Okay, once you get that all taken care of, 
your radio is still showing red. Great. So we're going to send the software over to this now. Watch the radio at the same time. So I'm going to make this just a tad bit bigger so you guys can watch what's going on. There we go. Okay, we're moving this. I guess we'll grab this a little bit like that. Okay. We know that mine's on COM7. It's going to vary for everybody's radio. I'm going to say connect. I'm going to click on get version. Update. And then we'll see that the version matches this new update. And that's it. So I'm going to let this uh, install. And as soon as it finishes, it'll fast, we'll fast forward. It will uh, be at the next part for this. Still displays your information, still displays your contacts. But if you go to menu, menu. and we look what version we have, as you can see, that's 1.6.4. It's a little hard to see because of the screen, but if I tilt it a certain way, maybe we can see it. It's not allowing me, but I will um, take my camera. I'll take a picture of it so you guys can see it clearly and uh you'll see it's there there you go so now it's all done your radio is now updated and ready to go If you found this video interesting, I applaud you to, you know, give me a thumbs up. Let me know how it was. Re uh, reply with comments down below. As you know, I do read them. So until next time, everybody, I want to thank you all so much for watching. Hopefully this has been informative and you've been enjoying the content that we've done. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button if you're enjoying this content. Next time on the show, we're going to be still looking at DMR radio. But I'm going to be looking at a different um, concept of it. It's using software defined on the internet. Yeah, I'm not going to get into anything, but you might find it interesting. Till next time, everybody. Thank you so much. Have yourselves a great day. And I'll see you or hopefully hear you on the radio.